Have you ever struggled trying to find files from your iPhone that are on your desktop? Ever get frustrated when you're searching for files, but the chaos of organizing and sharing documents through different devices has finally beaten you? Neglected by many, Apple Files is an amazing app that is not respected for the power that it truly has. When used productively, it will definitely save you time and lots of frustration. Watch to learn how to easily navigate Apple Files, create folders and tags to keep your files organized, search for specific documents in a snap, learn how to compress files right from your app, integrate with cloud services, and even scan documents directly into the Files app. This is actually great because if I scan a receipt with my iPhone and I file it in the desktop, when I get home and turn on my computer, that receipt that I scanned with my phone is on the desktop of my computer. So let's get started. I want you to set up your computer so that you will be able to access everything from all your devices. From the desktop or the laptop, click on the Apple, go down to System Settings, click on your Apple ID, scroll down to iCloud. Once there, you're going to click on iCloud again. This is where you are going to set everything up so that everything is synced. Make sure that you sync this Mac, whether it's your desktop or laptop, and then choose desktop and document folders. What this means, this is the magic, guys. Everything on your desktop and in your documents on your desktop or laptop will be available on your device. Press done and now you're all set. I'm gonna open up the Files app on my phone by pressing the icon and we're gonna go to one of the first few screens. You have a choice of Browse, Shared, and Recents. Recents being recently opened documents. Shared meaning any documents that you've collaborated with or Browse. Now Browse has locations. So I am sharing my iCloud drive, the files on my phone, and recently deleted. If I wanted to, I could also add my Dropbox files or my Google Doc files. It's really easy to add. If you have files located on the cloud in another area that's not listed, press the three dots on the top right, then press Edit. Turn on any other places where you have files, and then they'll be there. Press Done. Underneath that, you'll have Favorites and that would be desktop and downloads. And if I go to desktop, I just want to show you, it's the same as the desktop here on my computer. It's the same files. Downloads are all the files that I've downloaded. And then all the folders on my desktop or in my documents, I can also access from my phone. At the bottom, you'll see tags. I've set up tags for most of my documents. I find it's easier to have tags along with folders so I don't have to have so many folders. Now, recents, I said, uh, is recently opened documents. If you wanna see them again, they're right there. Now that you have an idea of how files is organized, let's talk about how you might search for a file. What you can do is tap inside the search bar and put the name of your file in and then you'll get a bunch of files with that name and you can then open it up and you'll see your file. Notice that file is was in the iCloud. You can tell by the icons on the right, all of these files don't live on my phone. They're in the iCloud. I was just able to access them very easily. One of the strengths of Apple Files is the ability to integrate with other cloud services. You can get your stuff very easily. Now let's talk about favorites and tags. I would like to tag all of these so I can just press on them. And then if you go down, you'll see the option to press tag and you press on it and I can choose a tag or I can add a new one, music, and I can choose a color. I'll choose that one, press done. And now I've tagged it music. Uh, and that's how easy it is to set up a tag. Sometimes if you have a lot of files or folders, it's hard to find what you need. So using the tag favorites is a great way to make it accessible. Let me show you how. I'm going to go to my iCloud drive and choose a folder. Uh, and I'm going to 
hold it down. And when you hold it down, a whole menu appears. If you go down to favorite, that means that it is now a favorite folder and it's now in my favorites. Now, if you have a file, let's open up a file and you want to annotate it, you can open it up like I just did and press the pencil and that will let you add your notes or your drawing, press done, and then you can actually send that to somebody, send a copy by email or message so they have the information. So it's very easy to share. Uh, you can make it into a PDF. You can add a tag. You can now save it to your files with the new annotation. Uh, you can even add it to a notes page, many different choices, but very, very easy to add your own annotation to any file. Adding files and folders is easy. Press the circle with the three dots, select new folder, give it a name, new stuff. Okay. There it is. There's my folder. Now I want to add something to the folder right now. It's empty. It's empty. So I'm going to press the circle with the three dots and I'm going to scan something by pressing scan documents. And here is what I'm scanning. And now I'm done. Press save. Now I have a document in my brand new file folder. Uh, and I'm going to give it another name because scan document doesn't make sense. So I'm going to call it paper shredder. There we go. Press accept. And now I have my document inside my folder. I can also share that document easily by pressing the sharing box. I can share it through messages or mail. I can put it in a notes uh, folder if I need to. I can even make it another PDF. Uh, I could print it. I can add a new quick note with it. I have all these choices. Uh, so very cool. So very easy to add a file, add a folder. And if you want, you just press the back button to go back to the main menu. To delete a file in the Files app, it's very easy. Just press and hold on the document and go down to the bottom where it says delete and press delete and now it's gone. I'm also going to delete this because I have two of them. I'll press delete and it's gone. That's how easy it is to add files, add folders and delete them. Now, sometimes you want to send something that is really big. It's very easy to compress a file before sending by pressing on it and then going down to the word compress, and then it will make a compressed copy for you that is easy to email. Uh, sometimes if you have a very large file, you would want to do that. Uh, if you get a compressed file, you can also have that in your files app and you just click on it and it will uncompress it for you. I've covered all the things that are, I think, very cool about the Files app. I know I use it all the time. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And like my video if you found it helpful. Subscribe so you'll know when new content is available. And I will see you next time. If you're interested in my digital downloads, look in the comments below. It'll be pinned to the top.